Hello everybody, Conti here with another video. How to add text with a background color to a media clip in DaVinci Resolve 16.2. Inside the edit window, my current project comprises of a single white solid color generator which I obtained from the effects library and lasts for 10 seconds. To add text to your media file, we need to look in the effects library as well. Underneath Toolbox, go to Titles and choose the Text option with the big underlined T, not the Text Plus option. Left click, hold your mouse button down on this particular title and drag your mouse cursor to the timeline above the video clip or image file that you wish to add text to. Let go of your left mouse button once this is in place. The text message will only be displayed across half the solid color. Therefore, I'm going to stretch this edit by left clicking and dragging the mouse cursor so that the width of this edit is the same as that of my white solid color background. Ensure that your text edit is selected. Go to Inspector and under Text, you should first see the heading Rich Text. Type the text that you want to have displayed on your media file below this heading. I'm going to leave the text formatting options below at their default settings. Bear in mind that the font color used here is white. Scroll down the text properties to background at the bottom. Despite a default black background color setting for the first variable here, the white text which I wrote for the first part of the text properties is not visible due to two variable settings. The first one is the opacity level, which is set at zero. If I increase this to 50, and then increase the height variable, we can finally see the white text. I'm going to modify the background color by double clicking on the colored box next to the label color. Select an option from basic colors, or pick one from the multiple colored box near the middle, and adjust the color intensity level using the final column on the right here. I'm going to make this blue shade slightly darker by dragging the arrow head on the right here downwards towards black. The hex decimal code for the color shade that you want, if available, can be typed into the box next to HTML towards the bottom of the select color window here. Click OK. The color black has been selected by default for the outline color although the outline itself is not currently visible around the background of my text. This is due to the third variable outline width which is set to zero. If we increase this slightly to 12, we can see the black outline appearing finally. The width of the background can also be adjusted with the fourth variable down. I'm going to decrease this value just so that the background is not too much wider than the amount of text that I've written. The height dimension can also be manipulated using the fifth property down. I'm going to increase this slightly. The corners can be made more square or more circular using the corner radius, which is the next property down. Decreasing the value for this variable makes the corners more square. And increasing the value for this particular variable makes the corners more circular. For now, I'm going to reset the value for this particular property by left clicking once on the circular arrow logo which appears to the right. You can use these for the other variables or left click on the option with the addition symbol inside at the top next to background to reset all properties to their default values. The background color does not need to sit centrally behind the text. Center X and Y determines the background's position on the canvas. X refers to the horizontal positioning and Y refers to the vertical positioning. Decreasing X shifts the background to the left. Increasing this value shifts the background to the right. Increasing Y shifts the background upwards. Decreasing Y shifts the background downwards. 
to make your media file behind your actual text background less visible, increase the opacity value so that your background becomes more opaque. What if we wanted to reposition the actual text now that we have a background established? So for example, how can we move the text down towards the bottom of the screen as is conventionally done with movie subtitles? What I'm first going to do is display the whole canvas on my video preview window here by left clicking on the arrow next to 100% in the top left corner and changing this to fit so that the whole canvas of my video clip is previewed. With the text edit still selected, underneath inspector and text again, scroll up from background to your text formatting settings. As we did with the X and Y coordinates for the background of the text, we can also adjust the X and Y coordinates of the text itself. Should I want this text to be positioned towards the bottom of my screen, I'm going to decrease the value inside position Y. Position X can be manually changed as well. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.